our recent trip um, uh, to China with a delegation of business people and politicians and attorneys, there, there were kind of two high-level um, realizations that I had. One was that both sides of the equation, the, the business people and the politicians in China and the business people and the politicians in the U.S., want to do business. There is a willingness and an eagerness to, to do business. That was a very, very good thing to see, considering the political climate that exists. It was really good to see that business people, politicians from both sides, the China and the U.S., and even in particular in the U.S. delegation, there were politicians from the conservative side of the spectrum and from the liberal side of the spectrum. Unanimously, I think there's, we all believe there's a, an opportunity and we're all eager to do business. That was observation number one. Um, observation number two is more the, the business we're in, which is in investing in battery technology for electric vehicles and renewable power. And that was that the Chinese are very clearly in the leadership in this technology area. And I think that in the media, generally, that is reported to be true, specifically for electric vehicles and for batteries. But it was much deeper realization than that. Uh, one was that, it, that it's not just economies of scale that China has achieved. It is a combination of very massive scale with high quality and innovation. Those three things together really do establish um, China as a leader. But the other thing is, it's, it's not just the vehicles and the batteries. It's all of the supply chain associated with that. It's the materials, it's the manufacturing equipment, going all the way back to the production of lithium. The Chinese have done a very, very good job putting themselves in a leadership position there.